Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Ramzan Biology. So you know, today our topic of discussion is about the Golgi body. Golgi body is one of the most important organelles of the eukaryotic cell. We have been talking about the different organelles of the eukaryotic cell. Today our topic is about the Golgi body. And Golgi body was firstly discovered by Camelo Golgi 1998. And so on the basis of the scientist's name, it is also known as the Golgi. Okay. Now, Golgi body is a little bit situated uh, toward the membrane side. As you mentioned, this is the nucleus, this is the endoplasmic reticulum, and these vesicles, these are called the Golgi body. Now, let's come toward the composition. So, composition is the same to our, to like the other organelles of the cell, like the mitochondria, the endoplasmic reticulum. So, made of protein, lipid, and enzyme. Okay, now this is the nucleus, this is the endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum is made of two parts. One is the rough one, second one is smooth. When you can watch, watch my previous lecture of the endoplasmic reticulum, I have given the links in the description in the comment box also. You watch but that. Now, a little bit toward the cell membrane side, there is another physical like form in long stock, stock like structure. These are called is Golgi body. Now, Golgi body plus vesical these are called Golgi operators. Sorry, a little. This one is called, not Golgi, but it's called Golgi operators. It's called Golgi operators. Now, the point is very important that when there is simple Golgi, it means when there are only this stock, long stock, this one, this one, in this, this long stock is only called Golgi body. But when these vesicles are also present, these vesicles, these, then these vesicles and Golgi body is combinedly called Golgi apparatus. So you have to remember this part of the MCQ. What is Golgi apparatus? Golgi apparatus is actually the combination of Golgi body, long stock, and plus vesicle. This vesicle is called Golgi apparatus. Now, another point, in the plant cell, it is often called dictosome. So, mainly the Golgi body of the plant is called dictosome. The Golgi body present inside the plant cell, that is called dictosome. Now, let's come toward the Golgi body. So, Golgi body have physical, these are the physical. Now, these are called cistern. Now, as you mentioned in the previous lecture about the endoplasmic reticulum, that these are also called as a system. These are also called as a system. While these are also called the system. Okay? And these, this now Golgi body have two pieces. One is the cis space, second one is the trans space. Cis space is the base of the Golgi uh, apparatus toward the endoplasmic reticulum while the trans space is the space which is away from the endoplasmic reticulum cis mean the same trans mean the different so therefore the same space is called a cis space toward the endoplasmic reticulum while the away space is called trans space now what is the difference between the cisterni of the endoplasmic reticulum and the cisterni of the Golgi apparatus the point is very clear that here the cisterni of the Golgi, the endoplasmic reticulum, these are interconnected. If you see here, these are interconnected. You see here, these are interconnected. Who will are interconnected? These are interconnected. But here, in the Golgi apparatus, the connection is not. There, you can see here, this is different. This is, there is no connection between this and this and this. So you can see here, these are not interconnected. So this is the this is the difference between the cisterni of the Golgi apparatus and the cisterni of the endoplasmic reticulum. Now let's come to the function of the uh, Golgi body. Golgi body mainly perform three main functions: transportation, modification, and packaging. Now transportation. What does it mean by transportation? Transportation is actually the transport. The carrying, the move, moving of some material from one place to another. So how it occur? Like example, when the protein are synthesized by the uh, endoplasmic reticulum, 
and the mesenger RNA comes out from the nucleus and then the uh, rapid endoplasmic microtubulum with the help of a ribosome is a machinery synthesizes the protein and then this protein bud off from the you can see it is budding off from the uh, endoplasmic reticulum in the pump physical these are the protein now this this physical is not able to be used by the cell why because it is not modified partially so what occur it will enter the Golgi apparatus and then Golgi apparatus after uh, processing it will make it able to be used by the cell so what occur this will enter to the Golgi apparatus and then inside the Golgi apparatus it is again it enters by the cell space and then comes out through the trans space now this is able to be transported to the different parts of the cell okay if it is uh, it need to transport toward the like suppose the uh, cell membrane so this, this will transport into a cell membrane and this will be the protein cell membrane it will make cell membrane now what occur really this protein have some sequence what sequence it has some modification, some uh, some part in sequence that make it specific for specific function. Like suppose this protein have to move toward the cell membrane. This protein is part of the formation of the cell membrane. So this protein musical have some sequence of the membrane localization code. It will have membrane cell membrane localization code. So then it will directly uh, move toward the cell membrane. If it need to be to enter toward the nucleus, so it also has code of the nucleus localization code. So in this way, it is transported to specific uh, organelles in parts of the cell. If it have to comes out of the cell, so have extra cellular localization code. Okay. Now the next one is the modification. Modification mean main, uh, meaning making something specific for something for some function so here let's suppose this physical enter uh, from the uh, plasma reticulum and then enter to the Golgi apparatus let's suppose this have the protein this physical have protein and lipid this have protein and lipid now this physical is not able to be used by the cell so it will enter to the Golgi apparatus now in the Golgi apparatus some variation occur like in the Golgi apparatus uh, Golgi apparatus will add some carbohydrate or subtract some uh, carbohydrate from uh, this and make as a glycoprotein, glycolipid. So then after this, this physical comes out like before this was the protein and lipid. If the cell need glycoprotein and glycolipid, so what occur? The Golgi apparatus will convert the sample protein and sample lipid physical into the glycoprotein in glycolipid vesicle then will it will transport it to the different uh, parts of the cell now another point is very important that it is called cell secretion and it is involved in the transportation it is a type of transportation that is called cell secretion now cell secretion meaning that there is a uh, another compound that is called pectin you will hear about the pectin Pectin, you can watch my previous lecture of the cell membrane uh, cell wall in which I have discussed about the cell wall structure. Now, in the middle part of the cell wall, there is a lamella. Now, lamella is made of pectin. Pectin is a sticky carbohydrate. It is a carbohydrate but have sticky nature. Now, what occur? It Normally, we uh, we not conclude the cell wall is intracellular. Uh, wall or intracellular organelle it is usually called as the extracellular organelle so what occur it now here these uh, appendoplasmic reticulum prepare the pectin and then after passing from the Golgi apparatus that will convert it into vesicle like form and called pectin now the pectin will directly move through the cell membrane and eventually comes to the cell wall cell wall it will goes there okay and it conclude itself in the cell wall and it is called cell secretion it is a type of transportation now the modification is also discussed 
transportation as we discuss the third one is a packaging now packaging mean me, meaning something uh, wrapping something in a physical life form and then it is usable for another person so what is uh, packaging mainly packaging is then the material like protein lipid and carbohydrate but first of all i will conclude another thing very important that is lysosome basically now as we generally know lysosome is an organelle of the cell having double membrane and it is uh, for the enveloping of the waste product you can watch my the lysosome lecture i have given the uh, links in the description in the comments box also now here lysosome is prepared by the and wrap into plasmic reticulum meaning its secretion its uh, walls are prepared by the endoplasmic reticulum now endoplasmic reticulum will send these toward the golgi apparatus now golgi apparatus will perform its processing by modification of its walls for some specific uh, pathogen specific waste material it is able to function inside the cell so golgi apparatus will convert into a functionality form now this uh, lysosome will be uh, transported into the cytoplasm of the cell so this is the function of packaging of the garlic apparatus now material like protein and lipid and carbohydrate are also part of the packaging like this physical is coming it will enter into garlic apparatus garlic apparatus will pack this as i mentioned before pack into the vesicle and also modify these like make can make it uh, glycoprotein glycolipid and etc now let us revise this lecture First of all, Galgi body was discovered by the Camillo Galgi in 1898. It is very important. Now in the composition, we have protein, lipid, and enzyme. And the Galgi body is only the stock. These large stock are only called Galgi body. But if when we conclude the vesicle also, so the vesicle and Galgi body are collectively called as the Galgi apparatus. And the plant cell Galgi apparatus is called dictosome. Now the function of the Galgi apparatus is the transportation of material and modification of it and then packaging of it and also the very important deep function is the lysosome. If the lysosome are modified and packaged by the Galgi apparatus. So I hope this lecture will be helpful to you and if you have any doubt or any question at this so you can message the comment and don't forget to subscribe and sharing my lecture part of the upcoming lectures. And see you next time.